I wasn't expecting anything like this because at first I wasn't interested in working with, with a watch company because as far as I was concerned, watches are just simple design of cogs and, and, and you know, and, and the crown and, and all the mechanisms. I wasn't really interested, guys. I was in, totally in another universe. I wasn't interested. Robert and myself, uh with our experience working in uh, high complication timepieces, uh, we realized that uh, we were not just uh, making industrial design. The timepieces themselves were becoming as much a canvas on which we would uh, uh, build and actually use our watchmaker's tools uh, to uh, vehicle to bring forward our creative uh, spirit and a, a sudden passion uh, in a more artistic way. Uh, to create a, an individual character for the timepiece itself. And I saw the, the, the complications and I saw the, the craftsmanship and the time that it took to make the watches and how beautiful the watches look. It totally brought me right down to earth and then, then I realised that this is the best watch company on planet earth. It's much more space, as you said it is. We uh, first saw Willard's uh, work on the internet with some very uh, good high resolution pictures but the difference between that and actually seeing one of his creations live was a uh, transformation for us. Quelque part on parle le même langage de l'extrêmement de l'extrêmement petit avec des techniques qui sont différentes entre ben, celles de, de la haute horlogerie de cet art de cet art horloger et Villard de, de son côté ben, des micro sculptures. It would have been too simple perhaps to uh, imagine just including some micro sculpture into an existing timepiece and so we wanted to really work and a very, very close uh, and interactive way with Willard, uh, Robert and myself to create uh, a work which has as much of Willard's microsculpture and uh, spirit in it as it would then with the uh, technical side and our watchmaking uh, creation which will be the uh, actual achievement of this uh, project for co-creation. We, we, uh, we enrich each other in so many ways. It's endless. It doesn't stop. It's, it's, the, the ideas revolve. It's just like one of the mechanisms in the watches that just keep revolving with ideas. So there was a huge uh, challenge uh, there uh, to actually work out how we could miniaturize from a microscope to view one of Willard's uh, microsculptures and to get this within the volume of a uh, wrist uh, a wrist timepiece. When we set out on the adventure, we really didn't know if this would be possible to achieve. You know, I, I don't get excited too much. It's just it's my nature. But I came here. I was like a little boy in a sweet shop. You know, I was like, I was just so excited. I was looking around. I couldn't believe the building. I was looking at all the little tools. In fact, I was only I only had a go half an hour in the factory and I made tools better than the tools I use at home. So, so I had the time to actually make tools here. We always seek the timepiece to look as better as possible and so we look uh, to make it look the most perfect uh, achievement we can. The closer you get to the timepiece and the nearer and nearer the better because the details all unfold. a marriage because that's when I wanted to get engaged and then get married to a group of force with my skills and I feel very honored. As we move along we, we can see with uh, Willard's techniques and his ideas uh, that uh, there are things which, uh, which we can uh, share with him and many things uh, he shares with us. On a des techniques qui sont différentes pour se retrouver sur l'infiniment petit. Okay. <laughs>
grow and develop our, our own uh, individual paths, but uh, moving in a, a common direction to come together for this uh, fantastic co-creation. This is a recipe. This is one big recipe to create the best ever what on the planet Earth. <laughs> because this is, this is amazing. <laughs>